Smoke are fans of Brooklyn Pizzeria and Taps. Very happy since it's reopening a couple of months ago, but don't let the name fool you. Brooklyn Pizzeria and Taps also has uh, items that are not pizza, something for everybody. And we're here uh, with Brian Henderson, he's the GM, and welcome. Thanks for bringing some of your friends here this morning. Awesome, yeah, great to be here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna explain something. So one of the uh, owners, or the owner of Brooklyn Pizzeria and Taps is Henry Burris. Now Henry Burris obviously used to be a member of the Calgary Stampeders. And he's gonna be in town for the very first time with the Ottawa Red Blacks tomorrow. So you, you kind of have to play both sides, don't you? Yeah, uh, I love Henry Burris and I love the Stampeders, so I get all of our Red Blacks, sort of in the Red Black, but I'll be cheering for him. I'm cheering for the Stamps. So. And cheering, of course. I yeah. mean, and so you guys are open to anybody. And I want to say hi to Ashley and Cindy here, who are Outriders this morning, for waking up nice and early. And of course, Ralph the Dog for joining us today. Now, tell us about the menu at Brooklyn. Uh, we have lots of uh, not just pizzas, but we have also some uh, authentic New York sandwiches. So the Bronx Reuben sandwiches, some Cuban sliders. Uh, we brought on a steak sandwich for the Alberta feeling as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got some uh, deep fried corn dogs that are fresh. So, oh, okay, yeah. deep fried corn dogs. Please do that next time. <laughs> uh, okay, but we are doing barbecue Friday here. So what do we have on the menu this uh, morning? Today we have our Cuban sliders, which is uh, just uh, we did a pulled pork. I know everybody does a pulled pork, but I do it a little bit differently. I rub it in some uh, really some Trinidadi spice, yeah. and then I just bake it off. So I got a little bit over here. So what I've done here is I took a took a bigger piece and I cut it down. So what I did last night is I rubbed it, let it marinate it in the fridge. Then today, last night, I pre-cooked it for about four hours. You can do it all in the barbecue, but since it's so early in the morning, I didn't feel like. So then I just would pull this up, yeah. put a little bit of rum in there, some orange juice, need some liquid. Yeah. And then this is what I got over here. So right here, this has been cooking now from last night to tonight, probably about five and a half hours. Okay, so, so that's gonna are we just, low and slow on this kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, so one side is totally off, the other sides are just on low. Yeah, low and, and slow. And just let it go. Okay, and then you kind of pull it apart, then put we get, some more sauce. Yeah, we just pull it apart and uh, again, <laughs> it, Ralph's very yeah. interested in what you're doing, by the way. Ralph's all are over. You, are you a pulled pork fan, Ralph? Why not, right? <laughs> so once you pull it apart, I just like to use my gloves. Uh, people use forks and then I just put on some, some gloves and pull it apart. And then you, you just get a, what I've done is I just get a barbecue sauce and I just doctor it up with whatever you want. So I, of course, sticking with the Cuban, I got some dark rum in there as well. Some more rum? Yeah, cook it off, add on some more brown sugar, then make it, make it how you like it. If you want it spicy, you don't want it spicy. And then I just put it yeah. in, mix it all up. And then I just go ahead and we just start. Uh, you serve it up with, all, just, the, with yeah. all the toppings. Yeah. So what what makes it special is uh, I gotta add more ham to it on top of it. So. So this is a pork lover's dream, is what you're saying. Yeah. Right? This is uh, like some guys have said. Oh, they, you don't really need that extra pork on there. I said, well. No, but that's, you do. That's that's <laughs> maybe what you say. So, so what I do is uh, I'll just get it all in and then I'll just make a little pocket. It's, you're not, uh, right. and I just uh, add my the extra ham. And what makes it cool too is the pickles. Gives it a layer of that little bit of sourness to and, the sweetness. And a little bit of crunch too. Yeah, and then you just put it down. Slider magic. Sliders are there. But at, at Brooklyn, we actually serve it in a, in a baguette, so it's about an eight inch baguette, full on. You gotta, you, this is a knife and fork type sandwich at Brooklyn. So everything at Brooklyn is, is big. Big is good. Big is good. Bigger so, yeah. is better at That's Brooklyn right. Pizzeria and Taps, yeah. and a perfect place to watch the game tomorrow night. Yeah, we got. Uh, we just brought in four, five, six more new TVs there, so we got uh, six uh, th uh, 60 inch TVs. So we should be able to accommodate everybody there. Like you said, bigger yeah. is better. I yeah. want to thank our Outriders and Ralph for joining us today. Don't forget, the Calgary Stampeders take on the Ottawa Red Blacks for the very first time. Is the pickles? Gives it a layer of that little bit of sourness to the sweetness. Port, whichever team, I suppose it's hard for some Calgarians, uh, but we'll be cheering loud and proud for the Calgary Stampeders tomorrow. Thanks, you guys. And where, uh, what's the address, by the way? The address is 412 888 Country Hills Boulevard. We're right in the Walmart and the London Drugs parking lot okay. up in Royal Oak. We'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us, everybody.